Today, we will be presenting on interventions of nerve and tendon gliding exercises for carpal tunnel syndrome. Nerve and tendon gliding exercises are a series of hand and wrist movements that improve the flow of the nerve or tendon through the carpal tunnel. The purpose for the interventions are to reduce pressure in the carpal tunnel area, allow the median nerve to move freely by easing nerve additions and also increase the range of motion and hand function. From the article written by Balestro Perez et al. 2016 stated that the biomechanical effect of the treatment would restore neuromobilization by decreasing the edema and addition in the carpal tunnel. They also mentioned, because of the chronicity of the CTS, studies also describe neuromodulating effects from the neuromobilization techniques such as the decrease in noisceptions of the median nerve, reduction in algogenic and pro-inflammatory substance, and reversibility in the pain pathway previously modified. Consequently, peripheral and central sensitization may decrease and descending pain modulation might occur. The first steps for this exercise is wrist extension stretch. Strengthen your arm and bend your wrist back as if signaling someone to stop. Use your opposite hand to apply gentle pressure across the palm and pull it towards you until you feel a stretch on the inside of your forearm. Hold the stretch for 15 seconds. Repeat 5 times, then perform this stretch on the other arm. Repetition is 5 repetitions 4 times a day and do it for 5 days to 7 days Per week. The second step is wrist flexion stretch. Strengthen your arm with your palm facing down and bend your wrist so that your fingers point down. Gently pull your hand towards your body until you feel a stretch on the outside of your forearm. Hold the stretch for 15 seconds. Repeat 5 times then perform this stretch on the other arm. Do it for 5 repetitions 4 times a day and do it for 5 days to 7 days per week. The third step for this exercise is medial nerve glides. Firstly, you need to make a fist with your thumb outside your finger. Extend your fingers while keeping your thumb close to the side of your hand. Keep your fingers straight and extend your wrist, where you need to bend your hand backwards with your forearm. Next, keep your fingers and wrist in position and extend your thumb. Keep your fingers, wrist and thumb extended and turn your forearm palm up. Keep your fingers, wrist and thumb extended and use your other hand to gently stretch the thumb. Do it 10 to 50 repetitions a day and do it for 6 to 7 days per week. The last step for this exercise is standing glides where it have series E and series B. For the series E, the steps are with your hand in front of you and your wrist straight, fully strengthen all of your fingers. Bend the tips of your finger into the hook position with your knuckles pointing up. Make a tight fist with your thumb over your fingers. Do it 5 to 10 repetition, 2 to 3 times a day, and do it progress at tolerate. For series B, with your hand in front of you and your wrist straight, fully strengthen all of your fingers. Make a tabletop with your fingers by bending at your bottom knuckle and keeping the fingers straight. Bend your fingers at the middle joint, touching your finger to your palm. Do it 5 to 10 repetitions, 2 to 3 times a day, and do it progress at tolerate. First article is a systematic review of the effectiveness of nerve gliding exercises on CTS. The authors analyzed available evidence to determine the impact of nerve gliding exercises on pain, functional outcome, and nerve conduction parameters in patients with CTS. The exercises demonstrated positive effects on reducing pain and improving hand functions. Studies also reported improvement in nerve conduction parameters indicating enhanced nerve health and reduced nerve compression. Overall, the findings suggest that nerve gliding exercises are beneficial for CTS. This is a study of treatment of CTS with nerve and tendon gliding exercises where patients were divided into group 1 and group 2 and were instructed to wear custom-made neutral volar wrist spleen all night and during the day as much as possible for 4 weeks. The patients in group 2 were also instructed to perform series of nerve and tendon gliding exercises in addition to the spleen treatment. Therefore, patients who perform series of nerve and tendon gliding exercises in addition to the spleen treatment show significant improvement. That's all from us. Thank you.